Sometimes babies have holes in the heart. What does that mean, a hole in the heart? Is it the body leaking from the heart? Or what does that mean, a hole in the heart? Well, when we talk about a hole in the heart, we're talking about a hole within the heart. We have to start off by understanding a little bit about the heart. The heart has four chambers. It has two chambers on the right and two chambers on the left. Blood comes back from the body to the right side of the heart, to the right upper chamber called the right atrium. It then is pumped into the right ventricle, and from the right ventricle the blood goes out to the lungs. So that's all the right-sided circulation. In the lungs, um, the blood is picking up the oxygen that we're breathing. And then the blood comes back to the left side of the heart, to the left atrium, the left upper chamber. The blood is then pumped from the left upper chamber to the left ventricle, the lower chamber, and then out through the aorta to the body. Now when we talk about holes, what we're usually talking about is a hole between the right and the left side. So we're usually talking about a hole between the right and left upper chambers, the atria, an atrioceptal defect, or a hole between the, the ventricles, the right and left ventricle, a ventricular septal defect. Is one better or worse to have? Well, the, the ventricular septal defect will, will more commonly have the, a baby run into trouble with heart failure. Um, we see it rarely with an atrial septal defect, but it can be seen as well, but much more commonly with a ventricular septal defect, where we'll have to treat the baby with medication, uh, the baby will have trouble breathing and have trouble feeding. So, you know, th um, in that sense, the ventricular septal defect might be considered worse. Does all holes in the heart have to be closed by a surgeon? No. Today we're really doing fascinating things. First of all, um, it depends how big the hole is. If it's just a small hole, you can live 120 years with a little hole in the heart. It might not make a difference. What I should also mention is that actually all babies are born with a small hole between the upper chambers anyways. It's a question of size. Okay, if the holes are big enough to allow too much blood flow to the lungs, then those holes may have to be closed. But some of those holes may close by themselves as well over time. So sometimes we can wait a little bit. Uh, the bigger holes, um, in between the upper chambers of atrioceptal defects, some of them can be closed with a device. While the ventricular septal defects, by and large, today are closed surgically, although you know a lot of research is going on to be able to close them with a device as well. So potentially down the road, we may not even need major surgery. It might be done with catheters and stuff. Now many for many of the holes, it, it is already being done with catheters, uh, and even the the surgery being done today. Um, you you mentioned major surgery. It is open heart surgery. There is risk, no doubt about it. But today, even the surgeons are making smaller holes. They're very aware of cosmetics, you know, and even where to put the scar. Um, you know, just to say, you know, so cosmetically it looks good. You know, this is today what we're worrying about rather than worrying about, oh, you know, how big a surgery it is.